Hello, what up? I am a month into my YouTube channel and I finally got lighting that kind of works. What a sleigh. So what I thought I'd do for today's video is we have a lot of like themed drag shows, right? Where we sometimes theme it around like a certain artist or a certain movie or things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast our very lovely Wellington drag scene in popular movies. And today's video, I'm going to be casting Wellington drag in Shrek 2, not Shrek 1, not Shrek the 3rd, and definitely not Shrek Forever After. Like honestly, Shrek 2 slaps so hard, there's so many iconic characters in it, and I'm gonna go through and see who I think would be best fitting for the roles. It's gonna be a bit controversial, some people might get upset, but I don't care. It's my video. Alright, I've got a list of characters here, let's start with Shrek. Now. I'm not sure if any of our drag kings in Wellington necessarily give me Shrek. Um, I know there's some who have performed as Shrek, but I don't think they give me Shrek. Like, I don't think if I was casting the role of Shrek to a drag performer, I necessarily choose them. There is one person who I've got in mind and that would be Amy first. I think Amy would make a mean Shrek. They've already done Yoda. Shrek is just same coat of green, another pair of clothing. So I am gonna cast Amy first as Shrek. All right, next up we have Fiona. Um, obviously Fiona, beautiful, um, damsel in distress-ish, but let's be honest, she kicks ass and she can take care and handle all of her own business. So, I think with Fiona, I am gonna go with Just Beth, because I know Just Beth is absolutely gorgeous and she will fight and kick a bitch if she needs to. Yeah, Just Beth. Just Beth as a Fiona. Slay. Alright, next up we have Donkey. Um, there's a lot to Donkey, because like, obviously real happy-go-lucky, but then also when Donkey's sad, Donkey's sad. Kind of left field here. I'm gonna go for Donkey, Homer Neurotic. Because when Homer performs happy, it's happy, it's a banger. But Homer is also Wellington's resident sad boy. And when Homer's sad, Homer's sad. And when Donkey sad, Donkey sad. I don't know if that actually works, but you know what? I'm locking it in. We can revisit later if we need to. Yeah, Donkey, Homer Neurotic. Slay. Alright, Puss in Boots. Now because Puss in Boots is like, you know, Donkey's good friend eventually. Bit of a rivalry to start off with, but you know, they get there. I thought it would be funny if we cast Brayden Butter as Puss in Boots. I think, because obviously Homer and Brayden like that, um, brothers from another mother, and I think it would be quite cute if they were rivals turned besties. Possibly that's real life, I don't know how that origin started. Um, yeah, slay. Brayden Butter, Puss in Boots. Alright, next up I've got Prince Charming. I don't think any kings in Wellington are that much of a dick. Um, maybe they are, maybe I haven't spent that much time with them, who knows. But when it comes to absolute raw sex appeal, I'm gonna go with Robin Your Blind, because if there's any drag performer that can make you question your sexuality, it is Robin. Prince Charming, mm, not so much, but like, I feel like Robin brings the charming element. Alright, next up I have the Fairy Godmother. This isn't even a question. The Fairy Godmother goes to Yonic. Um, like, I know I wasn't saying if they performed as them, they should be them, but the way Yoni absolutely embodies the Fairy Godmother and is just that bitch, it has to go to Yoni. It can't go to anyone else, so Yonic, the Fairy Godmother. Alright, next up I have King Harold. Um, Fiona's dad. I'm pretty sure this was. Yeah, Fiona's dad. Um, I'm gonna go with 
Willy Smackintosh. Because, you know, King Harold's kind of like the dad. And Willy's kind of like the dad of the Wellington drag scene. So we'll go Willy Smackintosh for King Harold. Then we have Queen Lillian. Queen Lillian slays. She slays hard. She's absolutely glam. Um, I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with Harley Lux. Because Queen Lillian is like, a whole bunch of class, a whole bunch of sass. And I think Harley is a good match for Queen Lillian. So we'll put Harley Lux as Queen Lillian. Okay. I don't know why this one I'm so proud of, but we've got the gingerbread man. And then we've also got, according to Google, the big one is called Mongo. I think the gingerbread man is Olivia Dreams and Mongo is me. Because like, I'm the big one. Like, Olivia's my drag daughter. I'm just big Olivia. I can't think of anyone else, and I think that's pretty cute that we have a little connection, so slay. And I die in a dramatic fashion, which you know, when that time comes, it will be dramatic and it will be sad. And holding out for a hero will be playing. All right, next up we have the big bad wolf. Um, I need someone hairy. Who's hairy? What, the only hairy person I can think of is Ava Goodcock. Oh, it's hairy old. Nah, but hairy old ain't big bad. She's petite nice. Ava, I'll give, yeah. Big bad wolf to Ava Goodcock. I think she could do it justice. All right, next up I have the three little pigs. So, you know, they're like a trio. Like, they're inseparable, you know? They look out for one another, they get the job done, and they've always got each other's backs. I'm gonna go with Maria Richmond, King Chloe Tamakehu, and Foxy Cleopatra. Because, you know, they're like, they're like, they'll take you down as a trio. And so will Maria, Chloe, and Foxy. It's like, all right, second to last, I know, like, they weren't really in the movie, they were just kind of in the credit scene, but I've got the dragon. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the dragon as Bunny Holiday. Because Bunny spits a lot of fire, she's fierce, and she's got a lot of smoke. Yeah, I think if there's someone you don't want to get the wrong side of, it's Bunny Holiday, so... Locking it in. Bunny Holiday, dragon. Does the dragon have a name or is it just dragon? Meh, whatever. I know there's other characters, but I've just got one more on my list, and that is the iconic, the legendary, the ugly stepsister. It's really hard to cast this one without sounding like I'm being shady, but <laughs> I think the person, or the drag performer rather, in Wellington Drag that could pull off the ugly stepsister and make it a sleigh would be Selena Simone. And that's not being shady, that's being flattering that Selena has the chops to pull off such a legendary character that we all remember and will always remember. Not because they're ugly, but because they're iconic. Okay, let's recap. We've got Amy Thurst as Shrek, Just Beth as Fiona, Homer Neurotic as Donkey, Braid and Butter as Puss in Boots, Robin Your Blind, Prince Charming, Yonic Fairy Godmother, Willie Smackintosh, King Harold, Harley Lux Queen Lillian, Olivia Dreams as the Gingerbread Man, me as Mongo, Ever Got Caught Big Bad Wolf, Maria Chloe Foxy, Three Little Pigs, Bunny Holiday as the Dragon, and Selena Simone as the Ugly Stepsister. I think I did a pretty good job. I know this is all my opinion, and everyone's got their own, but I think my opinion's pretty fing slay, so. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel, um, comment below if you think you'd cast anyone else in these roles from Wellington Drag or New Zealand Drag. Who knows? We might go wider with the next video. And let me know which movies you want me to cast as well, because I'm sure there's so many more movies that I could do so many more drag performers for, and it would be a hit. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.